Good morning, fellow punters. I'm here in a wet, dreary Dublin, in Dublin's fair city. She ain't too fair this morning, I'll tell you. She's letting her down nicely. I'm sitting here minding the vehicle that I'm driving because I can't find parking um, for it. It's more than 1.9 metres. So I couldn't get into Satanta yesterday evening, or I couldn't get into one at the back, and there is, I couldn't find any street parking. So I was parked in a loading bay overnight, and that's 7 to 7. So I had an early breakfast, and I'm sitting here, and we're away at 9 o'clock, and we're heading to Blarney. Uh, we left Belfast yesterday at about 9, and we went to Mellifont Abbey in the Wee County. Oh no, that's in Mead. Um, we didn't stop in loud the tall coming down. I had two pints last night in the Duke. Absolutely smashing Guinness, which you would expect for six pound six euros sixty cents. It's five euros in my local in Roscommon, so one euro sixty extra. Should want to be good. Uh, nice crowd there, mostly young crowd. Um, not too many uh, over the age of 40, I would I would say. No, probably nobody, only myself. So I had a couple of birthday pints. We had the food yesterday in Hard Rock Cafe um, about 1 o'clock. Surf and Turf was 34 something. Imagine Eamon Ryan seeing Turf being sold in Dublin, turf on the menu, and no open fire, so I don't know what the dubs are doing with their bag of turf. Uh, I had chicken tenders and chips. There was five or six chicken tenders, and they were tenders, they were grand. 24, 25. You wouldn't want to be having them every day, I'll tell you, or you'd be robbed. Um, a burger, a country burger, 26 something. Country burger, regular burger, but I don't know. The prices has gone absolutely sky high, or, or am I missing something, or is, it, is that in Dublin all the time? A burger, 26 euros. I thought it was bad at the races, but for Jesus Christ Almighty, it's daylight robbery, I think. They were delighted with their food, and they bought a t-shirt or a, or a hoodie and whatever, and they were absolutely thrilled, and they went to the book of, see the book of Kells in Trinity College, and they're... Um, they're going well. Um, shout out to David Coffey. I see he said he was originally from Waterford, a Dacia man, and that he's living in Roscommon. Uh, Alan O'Neill had the winner of the Grand National. He had a place as well. Marie. So it was just Marie written down. Marie, Marie. Uh, Mark Jacob and Sean O'Leary. We answered to Sean O'Leary, the great corner forward, who used to play for the Langers. Uh, years ago, we had two horses running yesterday. One was a very good winner in Tamaris. Uh, heavily gambled on all day. Went off eleven to ten. He was five to two the night before. The bus got on him, and then we had Crack and Diamond. He was awful and looking not to get a place. He was beating a nose, a nose, a nose out of third. I mean, that's not even a short head. Um, and if he didn't travel so wide all through the race, he definitely would have been placed, which was an awful pity. So today I found it very, very difficult altogether to find a horse. So I came down on one in each way bet. It's a five to one shot in the five o'clock at Catterick, a horse called Trilby, trained by Sam England. Started off its career with uh, George Bowie, uh, only a four year old. The favourite is a seven-year-old trained by Philip Macon, but it needed its run last year, and Philip Macon hasn't had a winner since last October. So, Trilby, if the yard has had, out of his last nine runners, has had one winner and three places, so not too bad. So, hopefully he'll get into the money today. I think there's ten runners in it. Um, there was a couple at Kempton, sort of half tempted me. There's a class three race, which is the the best race of the day. They're all nearly class five or class six. And um, that's about it. So we're heading down to the Langers. And we're going to stop in Kilkenny 
and we may do Dun Dungarvan then um, in the afternoon to get lunch. Um, they prefer to eat earlier than eat later. So maybe that's what we'll do. So bash the bookies over and out.